know it's getting a little late, so I'll try to do this really quickly. Um, so my name's Lynette. Uh, I work with Girls in Tech. I'm a Girls in Tech board member. Um, so I actually started out with Girls in Tech uh, as a volunteer. Uh, and then what I found really most valuable was the number of opportunities. That I got to meet really cool people and you know, attend really fun events that I could learn a lot. Um, so really, I'm just, trying, I'm just here to talk to you a bit about what Girls in Tech does. Um, so which actually ties in really nicely to the, the theme of today. So Girls in Tech do similar things, but obviously today's theme is about inspiring, uniting, and empowering women. So Girls in Tech is actually a global not-profit uh, that seeks to eradicate gender disparities in high-tech industries uh, by engaging, educating, and empowering women who are passionate about tech, right? So we are called Girls in Tech because um, we want to operate with the spirit of a girl, you know, fearless, lively, and determined. In saying that, however, men are still welcome, right? So don't, it's not just for girls. Um, actually, in fact, one of our board members is actually a male, which is pretty cool. Um, so we're headquartered in San Francisco uh, with about 60 local chapters around the world and over 100,000 members. Um, and so because we're volunteer-based, uh, we're actually looking for uh, amazing volunteers who want to get involved in these great causes and events uh, and, you know, to really learn. And uh, a couple of the events that we've run, you know, we have a mentorship program, we've done AWS workshops, uh, Facebook, uh, hackathons, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So if you'd like to be a part of it, uh, please let me know. I'll be around for a little while. There's also my details, so feel free to reach out. Um, and if you want to know what Girls in Tech, uh, uh, how, what we do and how we do it, um, follow us on any of our pages. Everything's on there. Thanks, guys. Hello, hello. Um, Bima Hukot members, raise your hands. Woo, cool. So, um, Bima Hukot connects amazing women engineers such as yourselves around the world who unite under one simple notion, that the world of technology is better with women in it. Right. Our mission is to inspire women in technology to excel in their tech careers. We are a meetup group and our leads are volunteers who grow their leadership skills by organizing events such as study groups, speaker sessions, panel events, workshops and hackathon. We help and encourage our members by, uh, to give back to the community by giving talks and workshops as well. And together we create a networking opportunity for professional women to learn from each other. We have a Facebook group, and you can sign up to our Women Who Cook newsletters to enjoy perks such as scholarships and subsidized conference tickets, not just in Singapore, but around the world. So do join us at our events, and let us build a fun and wonderful community together. And feel free to contact us via email or messenger or meetup messages uh, for any queries or for any help. And we are here to provide support and to show each other that we are not alone in our tech journey. So, Thank you. Um, Bimo Code members, raise your hands. Woo! Okay, so I only have one slide, guys. Don't worry. Uh, I know you all have been here for a long time, so I'm going to hope to be interesting in one minute. But I'm not sure where my slide is. Uh, so it's OK. So my name is Neural, and I'm the founder of The Codec Project. And what we want to do at The Codec Project is we're trying to get more minority and Muslim women in tech. A lot of the conversation that we've had, and even today, has been around women. But when we talk about women, and when, when, when we're in a room like this, and we're looking at the women around us, it's also important for us to ask the question, who are the women who are not in this room? Who are the women that are not on stage, or who are not as represented as they should be? Okay. And this is an important question for all of us. Because when we have an organization that is committed to inclusivity and diversity, that's better for everyone. This is a picture from Singapore's first women-only hackathon that we had in July this year. And 50% were minority women, 50% were not. More than 50% had no background in tech, and more than 70% had never been to a hackathon. But we built an environment that welcomed everyone and said that we all deserve to be here. If you're interested in what we do, check us out on Instagram and Facebook and talk to me as well. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Nuru.